Hey, let me land TV. Don Ye, man, you know we out here, man. You know, podcast. Everybody got a podcast. Everybody got Everybody one. got a goddamn podcast. <laughs> niggas don't want to go to school. <laughs> niggas don't want to be a doctor. Niggas don't want to. Niggas want to be a rapper, a comedian, or a podcaster. Uh, some silly motherfucker bothering people in the goddamn grocery store out of, out of uh, Costco. See that bitch ass nigga got knocked out sneezing on people. Please come sneeze on me so I can break my other hand on your motherfucking head, bitch ass niggas. Yeah, Let man, what happened hand, to man. that, man? What happened to the hand, bro? I seen it on, oh, on man, IG, that, man. That, I need to know to what's going on with man. it. Man, it, it ain't no racism or nothing. Because yeah, okay. a nigga can get it, too. Yeah. He just got slick with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I tried to walk away because my family mad at me. I'm getting too old for this shit. But man. I will not take no disrespect when I'm trying to walk away from your bitch ass. You know? Niggas ain't got soft out here. Real These white soft. boys, I don't care if nigga, everybody think they can just fuck over a nigga. Yeah. Niggas got real soft out here, you poop butts. I thought I paid you poop butts off. I gave him that joke, that smoking joke. I still got it. <laughs> and little Buka Pong, if you out there looking, nigga, when my hand get better, your ass is new more grass, little Buka Pong. Cause I gotta, I gotta shut you up, nigga. Whoa. You talking too tough, nigga. Whoa. And we can do fist cuff. We can do boxing gloves. We can do MMA. Yeah, no man. No Buku Pong, my fucking ass. You got to yeah, yeah. chastise the youngster, man? That's my little homie. You, you know, okay. you got big, so now. Yeah, 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 they get big. I'm going to get him. I'm going to do you just like uh, 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 Fury did uh, <laughs> my fucking wild. I'm going to put my knuckles through the glove and just hit you with the glove. That nigga had his knuckles. Man, you see that motherfucker? That nigga was hitting that nigga like Esther with a purse. Remember Esther? Hey, that's what remind, that fight reminded me of you, bro. That was on your birthday, bro. That yeah, was, man. Yeah, that was on a hell birthday, of a fight, man. They cheated that boy, man. They cheated him? They cheated Wilder. All right, well, Dude Wilder... He had his knuckle through the thing. If you see the swing, yeah. he had his knuckles. Is that when his ear... The, that's when yeah, his ear busted Yeah, he busted his ear, busted his ear, because he was hitting him with, with fair knuckles. Yeah. And some of you dumb niggas don't research nothing. Right. You don't read. No, they don't. You niggas wait for the white man to tell you your information on yeah. CBS or yeah. NBC. And here's you the dumb coons. Here's the research. They say, he said that it was his 40-pound uh, outfit that he came out with. Hell yeah. no. If you look... And they already got it. This shit is old. The nigga, the, the cracker, he had his hand in the glove with the point where, that's why if you see he was swinging, the shit was, yo, warm, yo, fist don't go back like that. He was hitting him with bare knuckles. That was a hell of a uh, trick, though. Yeah. That's some old school shit. He got that from Rocky Balboa's manager, Mick. He said, get him, Rocky. <laughs> He's a bum. He's a bum. Yeah, he got cheated. Dumb niggas don't, and the stupidest corner should have checked them gloves. You always got to check what's going on with your corner. Dumb no, nigga he corner. Here with bare knuckles. Niggas got to wake up, man. I'm so disappointed in niggas, man. Yeah. We got to do a better job, man. We, we we slipping, man. I agree. We too busy living our best life. <laughs> yeah, thinking you know? that this is the best part. Yeah, yeah. living our best life. You ain't life. even worked for it. Man, yeah. we ain't even got celebrities. Fuck you dickhead celebrities. Man, I come from Sugar Ray Robinson. Come on, Muhammad Ali, Mr. T. These are individuals that gave a damn about us when we was little. We had the Sugar Ray Robinson program, okay? Yeah. Free lunches, man. Taught us how to build and come yeah. on, man. Took us to museums, man, when I was at Arlington Heights. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. T, Muhammad Ali, and Sugar we gonna, Ray Robinson. We These gonna. celebrities now talking about black escalance. Black, black escalade. Get your black escalade, escalance, whatever you niggas talking about. We now gonna. Puffy wanna bring R and B back. Yeah. How the fuck you gonna bring something back that ain't never left? That part. Motherfucker. <laughs> bring R and B back. Hey, man, we're going to talk about this question on the podcast. Man, man let me land podcast, podcast, man. Y'all, hey, man, we coming, nigga. Let me land podcast. Let me land. You bitch, you. But the, you quest did. the question is, man, is is rap too dangerous? Rap ain't never been too dangerous. The niggas that's, that's hating on the rappers that's dangerous. <laughs> now nigga go platinum, he got to get shot. Nigga got to die. You know, <laughs> nigga got to go to jail. <laughs> nigga, hip-hop was nigga. Uh, uh, nigga. Yeah, you had to be fresh. You had to be in a place to be, nigga. All the time. You know what I'm talking about? You had to have skills, nigga. Yeah. You didn't have to get shot, nigga. You didn't have to go to jail. Yeah, You, didn't have, you had to have bars. Now, everybody think because they went to jail or got shot, nigga, they can rap. No, you can't. You fucking get the fuck out of our genre. Go fuck up somebody else's genre with that bullshit. Everybody got a gang bang to rap. Nah, nigga. You got to have skills. You have to be fresh. That means you didn't sound like nobody. Two, you had to be down by law. That means your fuck hood cred. Nigga, you was down by law. Now, I got your, hood cred. Got, what reputation. the fuck is hood cred? Everybody, nigga, you was already down by law. And then third, you had to be in a place to be. 
That means when preparation meets good timing, nigga. So all that bullshit is bullshit. It's something trapped up by the government because niggas was making too much money. So now you got to die get rich trying. Or, or, or whatever that shit mean. <laughs> yeah, it's a trap. That's why I call it trap music. It's rats in a trap. Everybody snitching. Everybody looks for some cheese. You niggas, man, go get that bag. You're going to be zipped up in it, nigga. <laughs> and come fucking with me. I ain't got nothing but doo -doo 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 for your bitch ass. That go for anybody, nigga. You understand me? And that's on blood and cuz, nigga. Now what? Bees and seeds before Christ. You bitch you. You understand me? Let me land podcast. We coming for you, nigga. You, 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 down, yeah, you tell them, no, let me land podcast. It's, it's coming. coming for y'all. They always wanted it. We gonna give it to you. You did? That part. That part. On the east side, coming to a man on the west side. Ugh, it's gonna be tough. Hey, spice. <laughs> man called Huck. Y'all remember Avery Brooks? <laughs> that nigga Spencer, it's a man that got a bag. It's talking to a man with a dog, so he gonna have to say, ugh, that part. Man called Huck, man. He said, you shake, I stir. That ugh, part. man called Huck. <laughs> it's not about what you can prove, it's about what you can prove. <laughs> and they look like you finna say, shit, bullshit. Man, are you crazy? We got to be snort all the cocaine we want. We can live our life, man. Go to, what the, I mean, come on. Priest. <laughs> he said, I killed this nigga yours. <laughs> Gator told him, I killed this nigga yours. Uh -huh. He said, he was gonna kill you. He said, no, it wasn't because I had you. He said, shit, man. I could do an ounce of blow a day, man. This is the life, man. No <laughs> way, man. No way. That's some heavy business, they told him. You know, like, that's heavy, man. Look like they used to say it's heavy. That's what he said. Man, that's heavy, dude. He said, yeah, he was just running around with priests. Uh, <laughs> Shoot fly. He said, I'll kill yeah, this nigga of yeah, yours. Yeah. <laughs> Chris and Fire, what are we working on, man? Man, we finna do the podcast thing. We finna interview. You ready, we finna, man? We finna get it in, bro. We to make that nigga look like a hip hop Israelite. <laughs> Niggas in a hip hop Israelite. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. How you doing, know, sweetheart? Hip hop women. Y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble. I done took her to a fair con meeting. Oh my dog, it's big old baby, the old my baby behind girl. Yeah. yeah, we outside, man. We outside out here, man. Yeah, we it's outside. Cali man. Living, man. Buzzing in Cali, <clears throat> man. Y'all go get that EP. Buzzing in Cali, you did. We doing it real big, bigger than open draws out here, man. Yeah, that's the new California. that's the new word out here, man. We outside, yeah. man. RIP pop pop smoke, man. Bob Smoke, man. R.I.P. Young Iceberg, man. Yeah. My Bronson Finest cat. We dropping out here, man. We gotta love our loved ones while we still here, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, did. But we got that Let Me Land podcast. We finna do a 2020, baby. I thought y'all did. Yeah, did. Yeah, big head bitch, you. You understand me? R.I.P. Kobe, man. We got a Lakers fan right here, man. What's up with our Lakers, man? We gonna hey, do it? good, man. What we gonna do? What about LeBron? First of all, I want to ask you, let me land. Let me land real quick. What's that? Your top three Lakers of all time. Give them to them. Kobe. Uh, I would give it to Kareem. Magic. There we I grew go. up in that time. There we go. Those are some great things. You got to give it to Shaq, Elgin Baylor. Got to give it to Shaq and Kobe, though. I would yeah. say that's Good. number Shaq one. Shaq and Kobe. I, I, I watched them for, you know. I what about fish, the man? Y'all didn't nobody giving it up to fish. Hell no. Is he fish? He fish, <laughs> all right. <laughs> man, you got to give it up. Man. He want to wanna talk I don't give a goddamn what. Deep fish, all right. But you got to listen. I, we we'll give it to the we give it to the white boy. We we'll give it to the white boy for give it to the, the nah, deep fish. Deep fish. West, man. Jerry West, man. Come on. We race. We that racist. No, he was pretty good too. We that racist. He was pretty good. Jerry West. <laughs> yeah, he's the logo. Come Nigga, on, man. He's the logo. Yeah. You no, gotta man, give it to They need to change that, man. They gotta you change. Give it up to yeah. Kobe and Shaq, man. Oh, Kobe yeah. was the best. That's yeah. who Kobe I grew up was with. the best. But I would take Magic Johnson before I take any Laker. Magic Johnson, and then Kobe's like right after Magic. Let to me, me tell you something. Listen, they both got five championships. Nah, man. I was <laughs> watching the game one time, and it looked like Kobe was a computer game. He moved through every single player that I saw. Yeah, That's I love Brady, but guess what? Like I said, let me land. I'll take Magic any day. Magic, <laughs> they both got five. Magic was a facilitator. I love Kobe. Kobe's the second best in the world next to Jordan. So let me let me tell you that. Magic, I, I'm just saying, when you deal with skills and you deal with, I understand what you're saying. I, Michael Jordan, Kobe. Michael Jordan, Kobe. Yes. But Magic, 
Come on, the Magic Man, he'll make you cry. That but look what, look what Magic played with, though. Who right? he played with? Man, he, he had so with. many players that he played with. But he made them better. Right, and that's what Kobe did. Kobe had Smush Parker, all those little garbage players. But Kobe didn't he have to make him better. With Devin he George. was better. Kobe he made just, Devin George better. You right? I can't. I can't. He disagree. made Mark Matson better. No, you are right. Mark Matson. No, I can't. Listen, Who I can't. That? Listen, he made Tyrone Lue better. And if yeah, Tyrone right. Lue wouldn't have played with with him, wouldn't have got a ring. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't have, have got no assists because every time you gave it to Kobe, he made the basket. He made it, <laughs> dude. Rest in peace to the mama, man. Thank you, bro. All right, man. For sure. Man, y'all get up to Hitman. Let me man. land TV, man. Appreciate right, man. you, like bro. my nigga Hitman from Dr. Dre, the mama. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Hitman. Right. You sure you ain't from Bronson? <laughs> no. Watch your step. All right, man. All right. All right, brother. Out here in the street doing some real discussions with the people, man. You understand me? Other than you niggas always inside so trying to be like Snoop, smoking your weed. Snoop was the first one did that. Snoop was, hey, brother, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? Look like he voted for Trump. Listen. Snoop was the first one that, that, that was smoking weed, doing that shit. And all you niggas bit it. Everybody want to roll up some, some, some weak ass weed. Trying to be like Uncle Snoop. They think, they think Tyson started it. Nah, Snoop started that shit. Snoop was the first one. Snoop always smoked weed. Let me land, man. Let me land. That nigga been smoking weed since slavery. That nigga smoked cotton, nigga. Snoop was, if you do your research, see niggas don't research it. Snoop was the first one on his IG, cause that's what he do. Niggas wasn't on on I, nigga like that nigga smoking bud. That was Snoop, and everybody started biting. Now everybody wanted to be on IG smoking bud. Y'all gotta thank Uncle Snoop for that. You weak weed smoking motherfuckers. I do high power drugs. You bitch you. Let me land TV, ho. This is Let Me Land podcast.